Hey folks, it's me, Christiana Gaudet. It is Thursday and that means it is time for our newsletter recap. I hope you had a chance to read the Tarot Topics weekly newsletter. It comes out every Wednesday. If you do not subscribe, I hope that you will go to my website, christianagaudet.com and hit subscribe. Hey TK, it's nice to see you here. If you happen to be watching in archive, either on Facebook or YouTube, I want to thank you so much for being here. Hey, Jean, nice to see you. Hey, Neil, glad you're here. I had such a hard time scheduling this one today. Every time I thought I found a time slot, someone else needed me. So I'm happy to be busy. I'm, I'm glad for that. And thank you guys for keeping me busy. Martha, glad to see you. So... Our Tarot Topics newsletter topic this week is Tending the Inner Light. Hey Puck, nice to see you. And the interesting thing is, I was thinking about that concept, Tending the Inner Light, not even realizing that Friday, you know, and the newsletter encompasses the week Wednesday through Tuesday, uh, Friday is Beltane, May 1st, where we celebrate the inner light. And uh, so, uh, as we've been talking about here earlier, tomorrow, Friday, at noon Eastern Time, I'm going to be here, and I want you guys here, if you have an Ace of Wands, and it was funny because uh, Marion Kirk, I don't think she's here right now, but Marion Kirk uh, suggested that we use the Ace of Wands, and I'd already used the Ace of Wands in the newsletter. So, if you have a tarot deck, Make sure you're here with your Ace of Wands. If not, just have a candle. And we're going to do a ceremony of fertility and health and healing and well-being in honor of May 1st. We'll do that here on my Facebook business page live tomorrow, which is Friday, May 1st, at noon Eastern time. So please do plan to be here. It's just real informal, but that's what we're going to do. I will also later in the day be back on live tomorrow for your weekly wrap up. So today we are talking about how we keep the inner flame burning. You know, these are difficult times. My new expression is no one is really okay. And no matter how many blessings we have and how grateful we are for the blessings we have in light of how some others really are suffering even more, I think we have to admit that these are tough times for everybody. And so in tough times, it is so important that we keep that inner flame. Now, in the newsletter, we talked about the Ace of Wands as being the card to discuss that. We have a tarot spread for nurturing the inner flame. And we also talk about the solar plexus, the third chakra, as being the seat of the inner flame and our will and our motivation. So... That's, uh, that's what we're working with this week. If you have not had a chance to read the newsletter, it is right here on my Facebook business page. It's also on my website, christianagaudet.com, where you can sign up to subscribe as well. Let me say hi to some people. Uh, Catherine, glad you're here. Amy, glad to see you. Joanne, good to see you. Megalina, glad you're here. Lisa Mazone, glad to see you. Karen Reinhardt. T, glad to see you. Joe, I'm glad you're here. So, we're going to do some readings. If you happen to be watching an archive, and anything that I say to someone, or even watching here live, if something I say to someone resonates for you, you can take that as a reading for yourself as well. That's how this process works. I'm going to be delivering messages to individual people. However... If you hear a message that works for you, go ahead and take it. So the question here is, how can you nurture your inner flame in these times at this time? Melissa, nice to see you here. Glad you're here. So if you would like me to pull a card for you to answer that question, just go ahead and put your request in the comments. 
I'm going to get to as many people as I can here today. So just go ahead and make your request. Okay, very good. Martha. Martha, how can you nurture your inner flame? The five of pentacles reversed. No, it's not even reversed. Just the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles. Martha, by not worrying about what you can't be doing and who you can't be seeing and what's not happening, don't focus on what you can't. Focus on what you can. Okay. You guys are like so well trained. As soon as I ask you, like, right in line there. I absolutely appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys, for being here, uh, for being here to do this process with me. Okay. Neil Quatrano, I'm so happy to see you. Okay. This is a really good lesson for my tarot people here. It's a good lesson in how to read a card that feels a little counterintuitive. Neil, you got the Ten of Swords, which is not the easiest card. How do we use this energy to tend your inner flame? I think it is by recognizing that you can have a tendency to put your inner flame out by overthinking and by kind of mulling over and over the particular issues of the day. Try to breathe and release that. And in doing that, your natural flame will ignite. Okay. Lisa Bruno Mazzone, so nice to see you here. Glad you're here. How can you nurture your inner flame? <laughs> you got the card. You got the lucky card today, the Ace of Wands. This is the card we'll be using in our ritual tomorrow. And it is the card that I featured in the newsletter as the card of your inner flame. So, Lisa, I would have to say you already be doing it. And you need to think about, like, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? What are you doing just naturally? And recognize the power of this. Recognize the power of your will, the power of your ability, the power of your creativity. You win today. Okay. Jean, Jean Mnuchin, so happy to see you here. Let's see what we got going on for you. Jean, six of pentacles reversed. So this is an interesting thing. It feels like you are sort of better at trying to help others than just be in your space helping yourself. Use this time to help yourself and heal yourself, and that will allow your inner flame to uh, ignite and, and become a volcano of creativity and positivity. How about that? Okay, T, it's so nice to see you here. Glad you're here. T, judgment reversed. By owning who you are, you tend your inner flame by owning who you are, by owning what you are, and by releasing the fear of the judgment of others. Be yourself loud and proud, and you are your inner flame. Karen Reinhardt, nice to see you. Karen Reinhardt, you're in the Ten of Swords Club with Neil. So again, and, and I mean, I'm shuffling these cards here. Again, you may be one who overthinks things. You may be one who really right now feels laid low by difficulties and problems. And I'm not saying those difficulties and problems aren't there. But I am saying that the more that you contend that flame, the more strength you will have to fight them. So to you about this card, Karen Reinhardt, what I am going to say is come to it with the mindset of a warrior. Recognize your strength. You may be a wounded warrior, but recognize your strength, recognize your ability, and do not defeat yourself with your own thoughts. 
Okay, Melissa, so glad that you're here. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what we got going on for you. Melissa, three of pentacles. You tend your inner flame by working on the things you like to work on, whether it has to do with your job or whether it has to do with any of your particular hobby skills and abilities. And I recognize that in this time of quarantine, things have changed. Can't go to the yoga studio, can't uh, go to the dance studio, but you can still work on the things that causes your inner flame to ignite. Melissa, you're definitely a doer. You know, we've talked to a couple of thinkers here. You can be a thinker too, but you're also a doer. Okay, Puck, good to see you. Hey, Nelson, nice to see you here. Puck. Puck, King of Pentacles reversed. Do not limit yourself. Oh, Sally, it's good to see you. I've been thinking about you and missing you. Okay, Puck. You nurture yourself and your inner flame by not limiting yourself to what other people seem to think you are or should be. You nurture your inner flame. You tend your inner flame by allowing yourself to be all the aspects of yourself that you are. Okay. Amy, nice to see you. I think there will be time for you, Lori. I think I think I got a few more minutes. Melissa, yes. Um, I, I was supposed to be in Connecticut right now this minute. Is that true? Yeah, I was supposed to be in Connecticut right now this minute. I will be there as soon as it's safe and appropriate for me to be there, and I'll look forward to speaking with you on Skype soon. Glad you're here. Okay. Yeah, Puck, shine on, you crazy diamond. Seriously. Nice Pink Floyd reference there. This old rocker appreciates that. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, Amy, how do you allow your inner flame to shine? Two of swords reversed by letting go of the training that says you shouldn't shine so brightly and by allowing yourself the time you need to heal. TK. TK, Queen of Wands reversed. You tend your inner flame, TK, by nurturing your creativity. Get out that ukulele, do your creative stuff. That's how your flame really burns. Catherine Saunders, so nice to see you here. Martha, I will look forward to seeing you in person as well. Uh, Catherine Saunders. Three of Swords. It may be about recognizing your ability as a healer to learn to be the healer that you are. It may be about recognizing and allowing the healing that you yourself needs. Need, need, that you yourself need. Your inner flame has taken a beating in a lot of ways, but you can tend it and heal it by recognizing yourself as a healer and as one who is and can be healed. Okay, Miguelina. How do you tend your inner flame, Miguelina? The high priestess by being the woman you are, by being the student that you are, and by delving into your own subconscious. Nilsa, I will absolutely get to you. The question we are asking today is what you can do to tend your inner flame. Okay, Barbara O'Brien, so nice to see you here. Barbara O'Brien, you nurture your inner flame by working on your own grounding by doing your own grounding exercises. The more grounded you are, the more grounded you feel, the more that flame has a foundation from which to rise. Robin Levine, so nice to see you. 
Catherine, good. Glad that made sense to you. Okay, Robin Levine. I shuffled, I shuffled and got the same card. You too, Robin, need to work on your own grounding and to think about, Robin, what you are grounded in. I think you've spent a lot of time in your life being grounded in your service to others and your place within a family unit. How do you ground just for you? And that will help you nurture your inner flame. Kimberly Essex, so happy to see you. See what we got here. The Six of Cups reversed by honoring your inner child. You tend your inner flame by playing and creating with the spirit of a child. Okay, VJ. VJ, Queen of Wands reversed. You tend your inner flame by finding your own passions and your own creativity. Do not make other people responsible for your own happiness. Joe Bethune, so nice to see you. Oh, you win too. You're the second winner here today. The winners are those who get the Ace of Wands, the card of the inner flame. This reminds you, Joe, that you have all the tools you need. This reminds you that your flame is just fine. You just have to let it. You tend your inner flame, Joe, by letting it be and recognize the power of this and recognize your own power and the power of your energy. Okay, Lori, Lori Han. And I'm coming to the end of the list. So if you have not asked for a reading and would like a reading about tending your inner flame, make sure you get it right into the comments and I will get to you. Lori, 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 Eight of Wands, you're on fire. You tend your inner flame by keeping as busy as you can by getting things done and specifically with communication. Talk to people you care about, maybe consider doing some writing. Hey, Billy, nice to see you, glad you're here. Billy. The magician. Billy, you tend your inner flame. You tend your inner flame, Billy, by being the magician you are through your practice of the craft, through your practice of divination, through practicing these things that are so much a part of you, using those tools and those abilities. That's how you tend your inner flame. Hey, Nilsa. Oh, Lori likes my necklace. So this is, this belonged to my late mother. She was like a goldstone person. And I used to do a lot of beading and I used to bead in this style a lot. And I cannot remember if I actually made this for her or not. Might have done, but it's mine now. So thank you. Okay, Nilsa. Nilsa, you will tend your inner flame best by picking and choosing your battles. Fight for what is most important. The rest of it, be willing to let it go. Okay, Lisa Bruno Mazzone, I think I got to you already. Did I not? I believe I did, but since, I don't know, you may need to go through the... Uh, the archives and see, but real quickly, just in case I didn't, the Three of Cups reversed. Even though you cannot be with your friends, spend time connecting with your friends. Okay. Okay, Christy, glad you're here. 
How shall you tend your inner flame? The Queen of Pentacles, by enjoying your home, by maybe doing some gardening, do some cooking, enjoy the things in your home, enjoy being in your home and making your home. Do those kinds of grounding activities. That, that's what will work for you. Okay. Okay. Hey, Sally Larkin. You're still here. I don't think you asked for a card, but I remember you, so you're going to get one anyway. We need to talk soon, too. Oh, Sally, you also got the magician. I'm going to interpret it a little differently than I did for Billy. For you, it's about being the creator that you are. Okay, you guys. So, tomorrow, Friday, May 1st, we will not be dancing the Maypole tomorrow. However... At noon Eastern time, we will be right here on my Facebook business page live to do an inner flame ceremony in honor of the first day of May. I hope you'll be here. If you have your tarot deck, bring that. Otherwise, bring a candle. And I'll look forward to seeing you then. I want to remind you, of course, that I am available for readings by phone, Skype, FaceTime, Messenger, Zoom. Um, I have a new Zoom class coming up on May 21st. I also have some free classes scheduled on my YouTube channel, Christiana Gaudette. So subscribe, like, do all of those things. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being here.